Hi, I'm Dave with Front Porch Ideas and More.com. Uh, today we have a project. We are uh, building a uh, what I call a grill deck off of our uh, kitchen area, make it easier in our new home, so it makes it easier uh, to do some grilling outside. But as you can see, I've kind of got the frame set up and I've got some joists uh, hangers almost set. But before I do that and start closing this up and putting deck boards on it, one thing I want to do is because we live next to a huge woods and what I want to make sure doesn't happen is that a uh, family, uh, friendly family of skunks doesn't take up residence underneath this deck or underneath this little uh, uh, stoop that we have built off the, uh, off the kitchen door. So what we're going to do is before I close this all in is I've got some lattice and some fairly tight lattice uh, that I'm going to actually install on the back side of these uh, boards and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it down about 8 or 10 inches I'm going to dig out uh, 8 or 10 inches of this I'm going to cut this into strips into this lattice and strips lattice into strips and I'm going to install it on the back side of these uh, all the way around and then on the back side of the porch steps over there so as you see this we'll give you some shots of this as we go along but it's a fairly easy thing to do and it will hopefully keep out uh, skunks and other, other small animals from taking up residence here where we don't want them. And if nothing else, it will let us know, uh, by virtue of the condition of the lattice over time, whether or not anything's been trying to get through there, and then we can take appropriate action for that. So what I'm going to do now is uh, cut this. Oh, and one other thing I'm going to do is uh, we're actually going to paint it black. Uh, because, uh, because, well, we like it uh, black. <laughs> so, okay, stay with us, and we'll show you uh, the steps as we go along. Okay, I've got the uh, lattice laid out. I've got a couple boards underneath it just to be able to raise so my saw blade doesn't hit the ground. Uh, this cut's pretty easy. It's plastic and we're vinyl and we're just gonna, gonna rip this across uh, to, to the width I need to install on the other side. So just take a second. Alright, so we have the panels cut uh, to the size I need, to the, to the width I needed, and I also cut them to the lengths, and if you look, I have these uh, supporting posts in here that these have to fit between. So I cut them so that these panels would fit in between those, those columns, so you have to be aware of that. One other thing you need to, to have to uh, figure or to uh, plan for, and that is as you install these, you have to also go around these concrete footings that have been poured here. So these stick out, depending on how you pour yours, these stick out a few inches from the column. There's no way I'm going to be able to dig down through that. So what I'll end up doing is just notching this out, cutting it, and burying the rest of it, and this will sit on the concrete. And then I'll probably come up with some type of support and screw it in, and it probably it isn't going to go anywhere, and it would take a lot of effort for something to push through that uh, to get underneath neat that. So that'll be our next step, is to go ahead and, and uh, do the cuts, and bury these in the ground behind these these uh, boards. So what I've done is I've cut the panels and I've also cut out uh, different sections of this in order to fit it into in between my columns, uh, my post here. And I painted the bottom of it black like I said I would. Uh, you don't have to paint the whole thing because it's not going to be seen. But uh, the trick but painting things black, it's an old theater trick. And uh, they use it on stages to hide things that they don't want the audience to really see. Your eyes uh, don't go to black, so it's real easy and it blends in better. And uh, for our purposes, it looks better than the white. So I've dug a trench uh, here to fit this into uh, down below. Uh, this fits below ground then, and it'll fit between these, these posts. And you want to make sure that it's below, sits below your, uh, uh, your beam here because that's going to carry your, your joists and so on your deck board. So you want that below that. And then uh, I have access to some gravel, and so I'm going to backfill that with gravel, but if you have dirt, that will work too. And so basically, we're just going to backfill the bottom of that with, with some gravel. And do that all the way around. And uh, we'll show you the next step. Uh, we'll be putting on the, on the joists. Well, the next step is you'll want to fill in any holes uh, that you couldn't cut around or didn't work well, so there's a whole gap down here. So I've cut a small piece that I'm going to insert back into this and secure it, back fill it with gravel so that we fill up any holes. If you have some large ones you can't get to, uh, try using large rocks 
if you don't have gravel, uh, find some large rocks, then you can you can fill it in with that too. Uh, and this should hopefully keep uh, keep the squirrels out. So here in just a minute we'll have this finished, then we'll be putting the joists up, and then our deck boards, and we'll be done. All right, so now we have it uh, backfilled. Uh, I did it with stone. Like I said, you can do it with dirt or rocks or whatever you might have to backfill that. Uh, and this is a case where we're doing this on a new new deck or porch. So if you have a situation where you're building a new deck or porch and it's low to the ground and where uh, varmints can get under, under and make a nest and make you uh, make it a pain for you, is that that ounce of, ounce of prevention is where the pound of cure takes place. And so we have the option to do it here. If you already have your deck built, uh, you can use the same method, except that the lattice would probably would go on the outside of your of your uh, your post or your columns on your deck. So that would be on the outside, and you would take uh, basically the same process, uh, but you wouldn't be able to uh, necessarily backfill that. So I would say uh, dig it down as, as best you can and put it in the ground and, and do it that way and secure it so that they can't get get through underneath get underneath your lattice work. So what we're doing now is uh, all I'm doing now is taking the top part and taking some deck screws and screwing it in and uh, one thing that you should do is that uh, not just do the top part because uh, your floor your uh, flooring is going to sit on top of this but also near the bottom of this because that's where the stress will be if they start digging through there so all you have to do is secure that top and bottom all the way along all the way around and we'll be ready to go Okay, we've got our uh, backfilled with gravel. Uh, we're good to go on that, and I hung the uh, joist hangers. And as you can see, a new construction is going to be on the inside of this uh, on this lattice, which uh, helps to reinforce it anyway, so that won't be a problem. So when you're measuring for your joist, make sure you uh, take into account that it's going to be a little different than just uh, fastening it directly to wood. You're about another eighth inch or so of, uh, of lattice here you have to account for, so it'll be just a just a bit shorter. All right, now I'm going to uh, cut the final joint to 119 inches, and then we'll put that puppy in there, and we'll be ready to go. So we measured uh, for the joists, we're at 119 inches on each one, so I'll cut those and uh, lay the joists down. When uh, positioning your joists, make sure that you put the crown side up. Uh, every board has a high side and a low side, not every board is perfectly straight. So you want to put the uh, rounded part of the crown, what we call it, on the top. So we're almost done. I've got the deck boards cut. All I have to do is uh, screw them down and I will draw a line, then a line across this front edge, square it out with that step up there, and then I'll just cut the ends of these boards off and we'll be done. So what we try to do here today is varmint proof our little deck. And you can use this process when you're building a new front porch or back porch or deck, uh, especially when uh, you know that the critters can can take up residence underneath and although we love them, we don't love them underneath us. So this is Dave from Front Porch Ideas and more.com. See you on the porch.